are new to the channel i'm jazzy i'm rich and you guys are watching a rich and jazzy life we are here in miami this is terminal terminal v for virgin oh v for virgin this is our first time at the new terminal last time we came they did not have this so this is really nice really new already new modern already looks grown and sexy you guys it's, already know from our previous virgin vlogs way. virgin is grown and sexy so come on inside know that all of these vlogs are not kid friendly so if you are watching with your family Get the kids out the room because Virgin series are not for kids. First impressions, we like brand new. Brand new, very large, very clean. Super clean. Everything's wide. No narrow escalators. This right. is very nice. That's far. So guys, if you are part of the sailing club, which is if you purchase the Splash of Romance package, if you're a Sea Rover or a Sea Blazer, get those extra blue perks, you come over to this line and they give you a special bracelet. VIP, darling. We love VIP. Yes. Thank you so much. We are important. Well, we love to be important, so we got the nice little purple bracelet. This is different from the purple bracelet I had on on uh, the Valiant Lady when we were in Barcelona. So here at the terminal, if you come on Virgin Voyage, you'll meet lovely Sabrina. Sabrina, she'll be here to help you check in to get on a ship. Have you ever taken a Virgin ship before? No, Girl, what you waiting on? You gotta get on here with your friends and have yourself a good time, girl. One day I come. Okay. okay. All right. But I'm not gonna lie. It is. This is on my third time. So when you go on and come on this channel, I really got to tell me what you think about it. Okay. Thank you. Oh, we gotta subscribe. Somebody gonna subscribe right here in person. Live. <laughs> okay. A live subscription. So you come upstairs to the third floor and I am amazed. I've never been in a terminal that is this large and this swank. Virgin, they know how to do it right. All of these loungers, they even have day beds for you to lay out while you wait to get on a ship. Are those plugs? Yes, there's plugs so you can charge your phones and USB ports. Cause my phone be dying. By the time you do all the traveling and stuff, that is great. Y'all probably looking like, where everybody at? Just keep in mind, we just got off a ship and we, we hung around with my parents and the kids for a while, so we took our time getting on this ship right. today. But we're getting on it, so come on, it's so you, so let's go on and see. The best part of waking up is getting on another cruise, another cruise. And guys, you might have noticed someone walking in the background of these shots. Mr. Melanin at Sea is joining us yes. for his very first time, because he's a virgin. <laughs> On the Virgin. How you feeling? What you thinking? Feeling good. Uh, growing and sexy is my type of vibe. All right. I'm gonna enjoy this uh, six days. I think so. I think so. Back on it like we never left. We were literally on this cruise ship a few months ago, guys. And we don't repeat many cruise ships. We sure don't. But we don't mind repeating this one. I sure don't. So guys, this is our first for us. As soon as we came on the ship, we went straight to Sailor Services because I wanted to ask about the upgrades. I already know what the cabin looks like. This is our third sailing. And I wanted to get that cabin that we got when we first went on Virgin, because I like the bigger bathroom. So right now we're upgrading our cabin from a central sea terrace to a XL sea terrace. And the upgrade is $225. Now that varies. And I guarantee yet he has to put in the request and we won't know until after the ship is sailing. He said around 8 p.m. tonight. All right, just cross your fingers. Cause cross your fingers, so if you see us in a different room, then you know we got a room check. On the Z right. side, on Virgin, you've got the A side and the Z side. Simplified, I like it. Right, and I believe the Z, the Z side is considered 
the port side of the ship. But you know, that varies on the way. People always ask that, like some of my clients, can I be on a port side? It all varies on the way the ship parks itself. Congratulations, you played yourself. All right, so we're going into cabin 14202V. How convenient. Right? It's central, so you don't have to walk all the way down the hall. Oh, I meant the bracelet, not the oh. card. But that too, <laughs> that too. Hey, did we miss the... Oh, they didn't, it didn't do it. It didn't do it? It didn't make that noise. Oh, they probably didn't close the line. <laughs> so guys, no room tour. If you're brand new here, there are many room tours available on mm. YouTube, including ours. And this is a central sea terrace. It's the exact same as the sea terrace. It's just central. The reason we did request an upgrade is because these bathrooms are tiny. Super it's tiny. So that tiny. shower is so tiny. Yeah, it's, it's an extremely tight bathroom. That's and it's the a reason. little bit larger. The, it has a lo longer hallway. So it gives you a feel that it's a little bit bigger. Let's yeah. see where our balcony, let's see what our balcony is giving. Oh, one, one. Do you pull this one with your hand? No. Yeah, well, you okay. might need to. <laughs> Our balcony on the other one was better because we had that corner, remember? Yeah. Right now, the views are not amazing, but it will be once we sail away. Yes, I mean, this is Miami. There's lots of ships in port today. Wow. Uh, it's a Sunday. No, what day of the week is it? It's a Sunday. So Virgin is actually pulled to the side of the strip, guys. So you see all the other ships are lined up coming down. We just got off that Carnival Celebration inaugural cruise and we made our way down to the Virgin. You've got a Royal, you've got another Carnival, the Spirit, you've got a Norwegian ship down there. But it's funny how Virgin has turned the other way while they're all lined up straight ahead. So that's the view, guys. <laughs> Click your names. We finished watching a video. If you didn't watch it, you could click, we've got distracted, show us again, but we watched it. And then we go to the muster station, which is deck seven. All right, so step number one is complete. Yes, muster station drill is complete. You have to go to that, guys. So make sure you go. It's very quick. And, and now we're free way. to live our best virgin life. Yes, we love that. What's the worst that can happen? You get a little food in your beard. You be right. <laughs> so guys, we are in the galley because the first thing you need to do is eat on a cruise ship. And all food is included. Sit down, order off the menu when they bring the food to you. I'm gonna tell you some things that I think they could improve on. I think they can start doing the iPads like the Prima. I think it'll be cool if you implement the iPads. This way, they don't have to come around and put it in their phone and take it. This way it's in the system and they just bring you the food. Right. But I mean, I love this too. This is great. I mean, no other cruise line besides this and the Prima is doing this. Right. You already know what I ordered. Come on, guys. Went on Virgin, spicy ramen. The tankansu, it is so good. Wait, spoon or not? That's, a, that's a spoon, man. <laughs> We really haven't spent much time in this area but on our to. past to. two sailings, but we do believe that we need to. But we would like to show it to you, Eki, because um, we know you you like to spend time in this the type of environment. I do my thing. Come in the you morning. You do your thing? Okay. All right. Yeah. So, so this is what it looks like. And one on the opposite side with all the treadmills and stuff. All right, right. Treadmills and stuff. Yeah. Side of the, uh -huh. Yeah. All right. Of the ship. Aft or? No, just that. No, no. The opposite door. side of the hole. So yeah. So. That, that concludes the gym tour. That's, that's, we don't really know much about the area, you know, but um, we've showed you what we do know, and that lasted about two seconds. Central Sea Terrace, we'll see you later because we are upgraded to a XL Sea Terrace. We're moving out. We paid a whopping... 250. 250, it'll be worth it, I think. It'll definitely be worth it, yeah. more space. The room is larger, the bathroom is larger, it'll be worth it. Oh, how much champagne? <laughs>
This is why the champagne shouldn't be free. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Look up and said, yo. Come on, man. I got all that camera equipment Everybody in there. Everybody at home, I hope you're not laughing, but ah, that was funny. So... We couldn't get into the room. Uh, just note to your to yourself: when you get a room upgrade, tell them that you need to get into the current room. We were not able to because they immediately deactivated the bands, and our bands work for the new room. So we are prepared to go to the new room. We're moving now. Housekeeping is going to help us with some of this stuff, our steward. So we do appreciate that, and we're going to try to move what we can to help them out also. And we're moving on up. XLC Terrace. It's doing it, guys. It's making a sound. Do you hear it? It's doing it. Y'all hear it? I'm sorry, you're struggling out there. Okay, let me help you with that. Sure. Ahoy. What does your wristband say? What does your wristband say? Seize the day. Seize the day. Seize the day. I didn't know everyone had something different. Okay, well. Oh. All right. Put one for me. What does mine say? Yours say, seize the day. Oh, okay. Okay, fine. All right. Okay. All right. Pretty cool. <laughs> Very smart, guys. All right, guys, and so we have made it out to dinner. Our first dinner is going to be at the wake. The wake is the steakhouse on board. I was not that impressed with the wake at on Scarlet Lady. I'm hoping to be impressed tonight. We'll see. I'm gonna start off with the bone marrow because you already know it's my favorite. I've had it here before. I hope it's as good as I remember. Carnival does, believe it or not, have one of the best bone marrows in their steakhouse. I'll tell you right now, it's not for everyone. The, te <laughs> the texture is very different. It's not meaty. If you're looking for a meat texture, it's not gonna be a meat texture. No, it's not meat. It's straight up like the middle of the bone with onion and and they it's a little uh, oily. It's very oily. Um, they serve theirs with like a piece of toast. Almost. So you stop a piece on the toast, they give you a little spoon, scoop a little popper on there. What's the game? I like it. Okay. Whatever floats your boat. Or it's the presentation for me. Okay, I got clam chowder and a corn oh, salad. Thank you. Okay, so our entrees have arrived. I ordered the New York strip steak. Richard ordered the filet. And we also ordered a lamb chop to share, along with the twice baked potato and cream spinach. So I'm very pleased that they have horseradish this time. I ran by first sale and they didn't have any. I'm sure they did, but I don't know what happened. But whatever, I got well, We didn't get any. We didn't get any, but. I need, I don't know about you guys, but I need horseradish when I'm eating. This is a creamy horseradish. Sometimes they have the grated horseradish as well. But I don't need that when I'm having a, a nice steak from the steakhouse. Yeah. It enhances our steak. It enhances it, darling. So if you haven't tried it, try it, darling. I love that they also do like the roasted garlic that you can I squeeze. love, love, love that. Yeah. You can squeeze it out. Yeah. yeah. And you can put it on top of your steak if you want to. And right. piece by piece. I'm a big fan of that, actually. All right, let's get into it. All right, guys, so we are done with our dinner at the wake. And for me, it was better than the last time, but I do think they still need to improve on the seasoning of the beans. I was going to give pretty much the exact same review that it is improved. It is better than I remember it. However, it's still the worst steak on board. The steak in the Italian restaurant is better. The steak in Razzle Dazzle is better. And the steak in Pink Agave is better. So the steak everywhere is better except the steakhouse. And that's a problem. Maybe make a certain rub as an option would be what I would recommend. Oh, I like that. I like that. The rub sounds good. An optional rub. Optional rub, because I'm going to take a rub. How about you? I would have loved mine to be rubbed tonight. Will you rub mine today? All right, guys. So first stop is at the galley because we have to eat ramen every day of this cruise. Are you down for that? Ramen it is. When you're on Virgin, you can order specialty coffee many ways. You can order yours with a shot 
of Patron, Kahlua. I ordered mine with Bailey's. Virgin is one cruise line that I don't mind getting my day started with a shot of Bailey's in my coffee. But if you're not a coffee drinker, you can get a specialty tea, and that tea is really special looking. That's nice. All right, so this is the back of the ship. We wanted you to see the, the triple net. Put shoes on. Put keep his shoes on because I don't. Let him try without the shoes. Let's see if he's about that life. It's like a challenge. Can he? Does he accept the challenge? Can you make it to the middle? Go ahead. You make it look easy. Kind of scary. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, we gotta take a picture. Of you. Yeah, it does hurt, right? <laughs> so this happens to everyone because they think it looks easy, but it's not. All right, time for your model pictures. Right. Stay still. <laughs> He's dying. Alright, right there. Right there, look. Don't leave, don't leave. We need more content. Get back out there. Get back out there. <laughs> Get back in the middle. <laughs> we need you in the middle. <laughs> He's going to lay out. He can't do it. <laughs> he can't do it. <laughs> Thank you. Jesus Christ. Never doing it again, huh? Never. Yeah, Can't that's what we said. Dance class. You trying to get down? Step into it. Step into it. <laughs> All right, y'all. So they got a boxing ring. For some reason, they don't have. We try to get the um the boxing gloves, but they didn't have any. Okay. All right, this ain't kickboxing. Where she used to do kickboxing. Yeah, I got a black belt. Kick this nigga. We're making merry one day. Oh, we're not gonna. Oh, 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 you heard it? Ladies. He's looking for a wife. He's looking for a wife. My life is chaotic right now. You don't want no husband. Oh. <laughs> we are in Eki's room and we just want to show you this. This is a, what the obstructed view sea terrace, AKA obstructed view balcony. This is what it looks like. So you still get to have a balcony. You still get to look out. Your view is just obstructed by the lifeboat. So, outside of that though, I mean, you can see the ocean and all pretty well. It's not a terrible, terrible room at all. The other thing to think about is sometimes these rooms are on sale. So when Eki booked this one, we booked him on it. If you need help booking, originjazzyfamily at gmail.com. We don't charge anything. Cruise lines pay the commission. So we booked him on here and this room was cheaper than interior, it was cheaper than a solo, and it was cheaper than an ocean view. So obstructed view balcony, sometimes it comes out cheaper. Just keep keep your eye out. Um, the price on these are better, and to me this is a better room than an interior room, for sure. You still get to come out here on your balcony. You still get to have a hammock. So you get all the perks. You just have to see what the lifeboat looks like. All right guys, so we're doing our very first slot tournament. We actually never did a slot tournament before. It was $25, and then your name is on the machine. Cool. So, I'm excited. Right. Alright guys, so it is now dinner time. We had a good day. You did not see any of it because we left the camera in the room while we spent some time in the room editing some uh, business things and we went to the pool. Well, we didn't actually get in the pool. All we did was lounge a little bit, chill just hang out so it's very very chill sea day and now we're gonna turn up for the nighttime so we're gonna start with a little razzle dazzle and at razzle dazzle so razzle dazzle is amazing if you are um, about that vegan life we're not so they have a naughty list which is really good the fried chicken here is really good the steak is really good we did order all those things they actually have today a tease menu so on the teas menu, you can get fried green tomatoes and okra, and it looks really, really good. There's some sort of green sauce, cilantro, and pepper. Ooh. Try that. It's a chili lime sauce with fresh chili herbs, oh, not cilantro. Oh, okay. But let me see. 
Let me see what it's giving. That looks good, man. Oh, it's hot. Oh, it's spicy. It is real chili. <laughs> it's very spicy. The sauce is very spicy. But delicious. Oh, man. I think the average person is not going to be able to eat that sauce. Right. The sauce is good, but it's spicy. But if you like spice, it'll be for you. So they have that as a starter on the teas menu. I think they should write on it a spicy. Spicy, yeah. Well, it says. They're chili lime. Chili lime spice. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Man, this food came out in like two minutes. <laughs> no. That's the fastest I ever got food any cruise ship. Man, guys are very impressed. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> That is fast. Oh, that look good. Well, wow. I just I told them that you guys are uh, Okay. Show. Thank you. No, we thank really you. appreciate thank that. On the teaser menu, right, for the mains, they have a smoked carrot and they have a short rib pastrami. And it basically, this is going to be their oh, new I menu. What is that dessert? Apple rum cake. Maybe if he comes back around. You still since can. They're so quick. Since they're so fast. This is the teaser menu, which should potentially. Be their menu next year. It looks amazing. It looks amazing. It looks amazing. So we can't wait to let you know. Yo. Guys. Let's all guys, let's all cross our fingers and, and hope that Virgin Voyages decides to put that pastrami on the menu next year. I know that was a teaser menu to experiment. Please put that on the menu. Right, oh the my cheese. goodness. That was really good. With the cabbage? Oh my gosh. I could eat just like five plates of that. Don't eat it all. <laughs> We're supposed to be sharing this plate. The pasta and this. This is so good. No, this, it's not pasta. It's cabbage. It's cabbage. It's cabbage that wow. looks like pasta. This is excellent. Short rib pastrami, roasted cabbage, pickled mustard seed, rye crisp, whole grain mustard seed. This is excellent. All right, guys, so the fried chicken, I already know, is really good. You get four pieces, okay? You get, you get four pieces. And then they make like a butter Cholula hot sauce. You know that hot sauce, the Cholula hot sauce? They make it like a butter and you dip it in. Oh my gosh, like fried chicken is not already bad. It's not already, yeah. It has butter and yeah. everything is good with butter and then hot sauce. It's like the best things in life combined. The steak is not on the menu. It's actually a off menu item and you have to ask for it. Ask for it. It's better than the one at the steakhouse, the wake. And dessert is here. I ordered the apple rum cake. That's pretty good. If I had to order a dessert, I would choose that one. We've had the churros. We've had a few other things here and they're okay. It's it's a little bit too sweet for me. I'm not a big No, you know what? Sweet I person. would recommend if you guys do come. What's that? Um, the cookies. It's three huge, oh, if you have yeah, space, yeah. Oh. three huge cookies and it comes with milk. And you can right. ask, and you can get whatever kind of milk that right. you like. So there's another plate of pastrami being delivered because <laughs> it is so good. And we have five minutes to make a show. And he orders pastrami. Like we're about now. to miss the show <laughs> to eat more pastrami. The pastrami is so serious in this restaurant, guys. All right, guys. It's show time. It's time to see Dual Reality, which obviously I've seen before. But I'm really looking forward to seeing it again because it was a really, it's a good really show. good show it's based pretty good off show. of um, Romeo and Juliet. But a completely different twist on it. Dual reality. All right, guys. It is day three, and we are dressed like mustard. So today we are going out. Mustard? She, she chose this outfit. So we're I mean, going... I choose good outfits. It's she... all about the look, darling. She does. If you want to see this entire look, you're going to have to check out our Rotan Honduras video because we're going to go out there now and we will see you guys later for day three. Come on over. All right, guys, and we are back from Honduras. It was a good day. Check that vlog out. And now we're at the ship show. We literally showered and came straight here. So we start the night time. Day three.
know where people are from today. So would you do me a favor and make some noise if you are from the United States of America? America! Fuck yeah! We're very proud of ourselves in America. I think it's because we set off fireworks all the time. Uh, well, thank you for coming to the stage, friends. I'm gonna get to know you a little bit, and then we're gonna play a game. All right, okay, okay. Hello, what's your name, and where are you from? Hi, I'm Jasmine. I'm from New York, but I live in Atlanta. Jasmine, from New York, but you live in Atlanta. Very cool, very cool. Uh, what do you do in Atlanta? I'm actually a content creator. Very cool. Are you videotaping us right now? Are you being videotaped? Hold on, let's, let's videotape a bit. What's up? Hey, hello from the ship show. Uh, cool. Well, I hope that gets a lot of likes and you tag me in it. I, I appreciate that. Uh, Jasmine, are you enjoying your, your trip so far? I'm having a fabulous time. You're having a fabulous time. Well, that's a pretty good review. Write it on a, on a thing. Uh, welcome to the stage. We're going to play a game called You Filthy Animal. So in a moment, one of the dancers is going to come out, and they're going to have a card. Written on that card is going to be the name of an animal, okay? So you're going to read that animal name discreetly, and then you're going to perform it for your side of the room! Yeah, we're playing charades. We're playing charades. The game begins when y'all say one, two, three, you filthy animal. Ready? One, two, three, you filthy animal! Seahorse! Wow! Oh, wow. That's a hard one. That's it. That, that was very, like, it, that's incredible. Kelvin, how long that did that take? Four seconds. Four seconds. Four seconds. I, I tried this earlier today and it took me like eight, so you beat me at least. I don't know about I don't know about Jasmine, but you beat me. Uh, are you ready? You're ready. Four seconds is you born ready. I love that. Ariana, you ready? One, two, three. Two. Octopus. I was an octopus. Very smart going with the eight first. Very smart, Kelvin. That was not even a second. Not even a second. That means you're the winner of you Built the animal. But you are both winning Rum Punch cocktails. Here they come. Here they come. We got New Jersey and New York-ish. You go ahead and grab that, that's for you. Enjoy your rum punch cocktail. Will y'all have a cheers in the middle of the stage for the content? You getting this? There's good content right here. Cheers, y'all. Amazing, I got you. You good? Awesome. So guys, the ship show has food, but not a lot of it. So we're gonna go to Pink Agave and have a lot of it. All right guys, so we got our dinner. Tonight we ordered the, the steak. We got the pork, we've got the corn, we've got enchiladas. And it's just a lovely feast. Oh man. And which we're going to enjoy. I already know how it tastes. I'm going to rate it already. We can tell you it's going to be 10 out of a 10. It's going to be a 10. <laughs> yeah. Now if it's any different than that, we'll come back to tell you Cancel a 10, but as of right now, it's a 10 out of we're going to go ahead and say it's a 10. We've already been here twice. Guys. It's time for dessert, darling. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we had, the, is amazing. we had the dinner. It was slamming. We had three entrees. We had two, three appetizers. We had one dessert to share. Well, I will say it's not technically called appetizers. It's small plates, medium plates, and large plates. Yeah, I, I really like that. Mm -hmm. um, you know how sometimes you order an appetizer and it's... It's a, it's a little bit more of an appetizer. It's almost an entree. So what they do here is unique where it's small, medium, and large plates. Mm -hmm. So you have that intermediate <laughs> section. Right, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's different, mm -hmm. but good. Mm -hmm. So tonight we learned something new. This is our third sailing on the Virgin Voyage. And we learned something new from our waitress, Diana. Diana? Diana. Diane and she dropped some real knowledge on her so shout out to you Diane from Brazil she told us that well, we were talking about the menu and she mentioned to us that on Scarlet Night a lot of this restaurants have different menus for Scarlet Night well additional items to the menu right so they add something extra for Scarlet Night only so for example here in Pink Agave they have a rice pudding Lacto. for dessert 
They have lamb tacos and a, um, there's something else. Three bean soup or a, For an a bean soup. Right. Mm -hmm. So that that's an example of what happens here. Only on Scarlet Night. And if you made it to this part of the vlog, then you got that information. And for those who dropped off and, you know, didn't subscribe and all those wrong things that bad people do, um, shame on them. How would they see it if they dropped off? How would they hear what you just said? It's one of those things where just, you know, bad karma is going their way. Maybe when they're sleeping, they'll hear yeah. your voice. Mm -hmm. Hey, you turn off a Rich and Jazzy Life video. All right. How dare you? Shame on you. Right. Shame on you. They should be ashamed like, of themselves. didn't comment. Those not, they're not good people, you know, so don't mess with people like that. Mm -mm. You guys hang out with people who live that rich and jazzy life. Mm. What the hell is that? <laughs> <laughs>
Seven. Eight. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. How was it? It's good, it's smooth. It's about seven. Eight. Ten. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm laughing. I'm sorry. Got you. 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 All right, no, 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 it's between you and him. Oh, right. Lord. You're right. It's a showdown. Face the master. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like face. <laughs> All right. Come on, Aki, hold it down. You ready? Let's go. Why you put that together and say, got me, got me. Thank you, man. Go, 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 One, two, four, five, seven. <laughs> You didn't even make it to 10. Come on, Faith. 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 Come on, Since I was here, I only bet one time. Oh. You only lost once? Only lost one time. He never loses. Never. That's a good Let's go to one time. Let's go to the casino when you get off. When you get off work. Don't worry. We're going to get you a new outfit. They won't notice you. You have to take the tag off, though. They had the name tag, okay? So, we got the fried chicken. Ooh. It's just like a little chunk of fried chicken. Is it a chicken wing? This is a piece of chicken. We got the seafood corn dog. Bunch of seafoods mixed in. They made a corn dog out of it. Japche. We have the seafood platter right here. We also have the chef combo. We also have the marinated beef short rib we call by Calvi right here. Okay. Okay, let me uh, drill one by one for you. Okay. And now let's start battling with your place. Thank you, thank you. You guys enjoyed this vlog <laughs> we didn't vlog a lot because we rested a lot yeah. if you've been keeping up if you're keeping tabs on our cruise series and how they fall in actual order we actually just got off a of sailing last week with our kids and um, our in my in-laws her our parents so we had a good time but this is a, such a different vibe that we're unwinding a lot and relaxing a lot and sleeping a lot so yeah and sometimes your vacation is what you want to make it. If you just want to chill in the room, watch TV, and yeah. and have a glass of water, that is up to you. Hope you guys enjoy what you've been watching so far. We still have more content coming your way. So until the next vlog, guys, continue to live a rich and jazzy Bye. life. Bye. Bye guys.